all the harsh sayings of Jesus reflect his deep pain about the hardness of hearts. It is of course a bit difficult to understand the harsh sayings of Jesus. Let us place these words of criticism within his journey to Jerusalem. People had welcomed him singing Hosanna and were listening to him. But the Pharisees were trying all means to trap him. After the Sadducees challenge had failed, the Pharisees came with the most noble question. What is the greatest of all the commandments? After this session of teachings, chapter 23 ends with his weeping of Jerusalem. What pained him was the hypocrisy of the Pharisees that became an obstacle to the kingdom of God. Plainly he spoke of the greatest commandment when the question was asked, that the greatest commandment is to love God and love one another. The Pharisees knew that, but their love had boundaries and their added customs and statutes justified their abominable boundaries. All the hard sayings of Jesus reflect his deep pain about the hardness of hearts the scribes and Pharisees maintained in order to keep themselves as senders of power and wealth. Jesus challenged them because they sit on the chair of Moses with their teaching and judging authority. But they shut up the kingdom of heaven against the people of God. Neither they seek the kingdom of justice and righteousness and peace, nor let others enter. Today's passage points to their hypocrisy and greed, giving a few examples. One is about the gold and the temple. Gold is valued, but the temple that makes gold sacred is sidelined. Where is the greatest commandment amidst all our rigidity in laws, customs, devotions, which are all in the name of God? Devoid of love, laws kill, not only the people, but even Christ. Devoid of love, the very sanctified laws can be cruel, maintaining a selfish system that upholds greed and power. In the holiest languages, we will have the abominable boundaries for love, defeating and crushing the heart of God. When it comes to justice, love, peace and righteousness, even for those who burn with zeal for laws and traditions, the selfish system is the holy idol to be honored. Christ becomes a value of convenience. Pharisees are not there today to shut up the heavens against us. So, these harsh sayings knock at our hearts today.